hello beautiful people it's another day and that means another blessing today is gonna be a little bit different I I stopped making my workout videos because there was um, some drama in my life and you know when it rains it pours and that's pretty much all I can say about that what I do know is that um, I personally had to take a step back because if I'm talking about positivity and good vibes and good energy and promoting a healthy lifestyle and I'm not in that mental space, then how can I relay that to you guys and actually like mean it? Um, I don't want to be fake. I just wanted to take some time for myself. It's been about a week and a lot of things have happened, um, but you know what? I don't feel bad about it. I've picked up the pace with my progress on um, the YouTube front and I feel kind of sad about having to step away from that, but I would prefer to take as much time away as I possibly need to get to the right headspace um, so that I feel good enough talking about what I wanna talk about. So I will definitely be back on my workouts. I'm gonna still finish the Alive program. And um, I hope that in this past week, uh, those of you who are new to my channel, obviously thank you for coming, but I, I hope that the videos that I put up so far have been helpful and um, they are you know just doing nothing but helping you get out and and stay positive and you know have that like that healthy lifestyle even though we're you know in this particular situation right now so um, I am going to basically just film a monthly favorites all the things that I love and use um, my products for my skin, for my face, um, for my body, um, some makeup stuff. And I also had a birthday a couple weeks ago, so I ordered a bunch of things from Sephora because I got a Sephora gift card and I wanted to unbox those things and show you. This is just, you know, it's just one of those random videos and um, I, I really wanna incorporate some like beauty, and beauty stuff into my channel. It's not gonna just be about fitness. It's not gonna just be about food. It's not gonna just be about, it's just gonna be an all around like me what I do what I like to do and what I use and hopefully it um it helps you out because I have some pretty good stories about how uh, I've gotten to where I am right now as far as like my skin goes and my um, you know my body progress and all of that stuff thank you for coming to my channel and um, again I'm Katie Gogo -Go, and this channel is just about like health fitness lifestyle inspiration food beauty just just me so thank you obviously I uh, appreciate every one of you and if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe all right let's get to it okay so um, I would really like to know if you guys would like to make have me make a video on just my everyday kind of look like um, let me get closer so I basically just use BB cream a little mascara and sometimes I'll you know throw a wing in there my eyebrows are looking Vowel right now. Oh my gosh. on fleek. This is what I wear on an everyday basis. I really just, I use this e.l.f. BB cream and it's literally the best BB cream I've ever tried. I've tried a bunch of other drugstore ones just to try it out. And I was thinking of even getting some like really expensive ones, but after, this is only six bucks and this is the coverage. And this is one like really light layer. Um, so definitely if you want me to do a video on my everyday look and you can actually see like how good it covers up some of these scars, um, please comment below and let me know. And um, also a favorite, Burt's Bees pomegranate only because it gives you like that little bit of a red tint. See, that's what I'm wearing right now. Gives you a little red tint in there. And you know, I just have my regular highlighter, my MAC highlighter that I've had for years, um, literally years. I have these oil blotting pads that I got from e.l.f. I'm a cheapo. Like you won't see me buying expensive makeup out there right now, especially with, you know, with the world right now. I don't need that. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> um, also I have concealer that sometimes I use and this is from e.l.f. as well. Curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curler. And then I have um, my Too Faced bronzer. But right now I'm just wearing BB cream, a little bit of um, eyeliner for my wing. I don't even put it on the top. And I have mascara from the day before. So, yeah. And I also have this pressed powder. This is from e.l.f. too. And this is by far the best powder I've ever tried. Um, it 
gives you like full coverage and it doesn't look cakey. Once you put like a little bit of moisturizer on before and then you just brush it on like lightly, um, it sticks to the moisturizer and it's like the most perfect coverage ever. I used to use it a lot when I was younger when I had more, more acne and um, that made me feel like the most confident I could possibly feel. I really love e.l.f. products and um, if I'm correct, I think they are either owned by Mac or they own Mac. I'm not really sure, but let's move on to all of the stuff that I use um, that my monthly favorites, I guess you could say. Okay, so number one, this is the best lotion ever. First of all, it smells like a Starburst mixed with the Jolly Rancher mixed with like heaven and um, it's Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts, Triple Moisture, herbal whipped body cream and I just got it at Ross actually I got it for a Christmas present um, but I've wanted it for so long because I know that hemp is really <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> okay hemp is um, a natural product and it's very good for your skin I'm gonna stop right there because otherwise I'm gonna talk way too much about it and also I use this This is for my hair this is argan oil Moroccan oil um, I use it every single time I wash my hair and I only wash my hair like three um, maybe two or three times a week if that because I have blonde in my hair and my blondes are already fading speaking of that I was thinking about making a video of me dyeing my hair back blonde um, or toning it I guess with just purple shampoo so if you want to see that let me know in the comments below. Anyways, this is the best stuff. It saves your hair like crazy. And I always get the extra penetrating one because the more moisture, the better. Okay, next. This stuff is incredible. I didn't even know about this brand until I got an Ulta gift card and I'm clearly a rookie with this makeup stuff. But um, it's Pacifica. Pineapple flower oil-free matte mist. Slay oil and pineapple and hyaluronic acid. This is for oily and combination skin, but mostly I got it because it says matte mist and I have really oily skin, but it's still dry. So I spray this on throughout the day and it really takes the oil away. Like maybe, I think I have a little in my T-zone right now. So um, it like just sets everything down. And a little oil is not too bad because you know it gives you that little glow, but um, I like to use this for like if I need just a refresher because it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really moisturizing. And I like to use it to set my makeup because I don't like, I like regular setting spray is great, but um, I feel like sometimes it kind of dries me out because it really is, it's meant to press down the makeup so that it doesn't, you know, fall with all the oil in your skin and stuff. Um, so this one, um, I use it for, setting spray and I also use it to just you know put on if I need like a little extra ooh hydration um so this one you can find at Ulta or you can find anywhere um pretty much like I think you can maybe get this brand for it not too sure so this is their um wake up beautiful sleep mask and I use this like a couple times out of the week and the reason why is because it's so moisturizing. When I wake up in the morning, like all my dead skin, it just comes right off when I scrub my face um, in the morning. I don't, I don't exfoliate every single day, but I found a new trick, a new product that is amazing for you. To, it's so gentle on your skin and I don't really like to use like walnut scrub or anything like that um, because I just have such sensitive skin. Not knocking any of the products or anything like that, but I just have really sensitive skin so I have to be really careful. Anyways, this is that um, product and obviously Pacifica is vegan and cruelty free, which I'm like super for because I love animals. Next, so I ordered this online. It is a, oh, here we go, a blackhead remover vacuum. And I put a poll up on my Instagram to see if anyone wanted me to make a YouTube video of it and I got pretty good response from it. So I'm gonna put this to the side and do this one completely separate for a YouTube video. And then I also got this face roller. I haven't opened it yet, but you know, the um, crystal jade roller for your face. Okay, so here it is. It's kind of heavy, but I guess you're just supposed to um, roll it on your face and it just helps, you know, like lower your puffiness, which sometimes I get puffy right here, especially because stress and anxiety, whatever. Um, it helps 
to minimize wrinkles. And if you don't have wrinkles, it helps prevent wrinkles and, um, you know, just helps your skin. It, it opens, you know, the elasticity helps take out some of the toxins and, and something about rolling a crystal on your face is just really relaxing. To be honest, 2020 for me, I've been saying this is just about finding me and, and getting to a really like good place with me. And I, um, I've spent a lot of time, you know, I, I'm like obsessed with going to the store and getting products and, and new hair stuff and, um, new makeup and all that stuff. Um, I've always had like an interest in it. Um, but this year I'm really taking time to find the good products and the things that I know that are going to benefit me in the long run and, um, staying at home and taking time, um, to really have to sit there and reflect and like most conversation you have is only with your family and virtually with your friends. Um, but you look in the mirror a lot and you like to see, you know, what can I change about myself to make me better. Not saying that everyone needs to change stuff, but if you have the time right now to reflect and think about where you're at, why wouldn't you? I don't know, that's just how I think about it. Anyways, here's my box. I have had it for about a week now and I'm so anxious to open it um, because I've been waiting to make this video. So I'm literally opening the box right now. And yes, I sanitized it. Oh, pause, wait. Before I continue, I wanted to show you my really cool, um, and yes, I'm wearing a black bra with a white shirt. Kill me, shoot me, whatever. This is a product that I use for my exfoliation. Um, it's a silicone brush and it has, um, well, I guess it's dead since I've been trying to charge it, but I guess it didn't charge all the way. Um, anyways, this button um, increases the power, so it just kind of vibrates at two different levels and both sides are so this one's a little bit thicker this side is a little bit more thin and um it doesn't have any you know like walnuts or almond shells or anything like that um so i feel like it does better for my skin anyways let's get to the box though okie dokie all right let's do this so i had a 25 dollars gift card and guess how many products i got because your girl knows how to shop and discount and use promo codes <laughs> So it was uh, buy three, get one free or something like that for these masks. And these are my favorite masks. There's something about just being able to sit there with like a sheet mask on your face and just like oh, lay there. You look crazy, but it really is like really refreshing. So the first one I got is the um, aloe vera face mask. And this one is just quenching, replenishing. To be honest, I don't really do specific masks for specific things. I just really, I think they all benefit you regardless. Um, so this one's pineapple, pore perfecting and smoothing, which I need. This one is the pearl mask. I've used this one before. It's really great. Perfecting and brightening, that one. This one is the rose mask. And this one's for moisturizing and brightening. So, you know, all of them moisturize you. All You you sit there with the product on your face for like 15 minutes. It has to be moisturizing. Um, let's move on. Oh, okay. So I had um, beauty insider points. So that was one way that I was able to get like a lot of different products. So this is what I used. Um, I had like 400 or something. So bum bum cream. Coco Cabana cream. So, um, I've never had butt cream. <laughs> Sounds weird. But, um, it's about that year, you know? You, you, don't, you don't just cleanse your face, ladies. You cleanse everything. And, um, that includes your butt. Why squat a lot if you can't make your butt look smooth and pretty? Anyway. <laughs> so this is the Coco Cabana cream, and it's the, it's just hydrating cream. It's and it's in a really cute jar. It's small, but you know what? A small amount goes a long way, and I've learned that over the years. I used to cake things on, and then I'm like, oh, that looks disgusting. I wonder why, because I use like the whole damn thing. And then here's the Bum Bum Cream, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Fast absorbing body cream helps visibly tighten the appearance of skin. So now I can squat to tone it up, and then I can use this to tone it up too, ha. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on the end. Ooh, it smells bomb. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. Ooh, Tatcha. They had a promo code. Um, if you spent $25 or something, then you get like this free Tatcha product. 
and it's Tatcha, so why wouldn't I? Oh my gosh, it was the kit. I forgot. <laughs> my heart. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, Tatcha, the water cream, and this is Pour Perfecting Japanese Wild Road Wild Rose. My bad. So I guess you just this is just hydrating cream. Oh my gosh. I love their packaging. It's so pretty. Um, this is a deep cleanse. So this is a face wash. Um, clarifying Japanese loofah fruit extract for normal to oily skin. I always see these like YouTubers um, having the Tatcha um, brain fart. YouTubers <laughs> having Tatcha products and um, I've always wanted to try them but they're just so damn expensive. So, you know, I had to wait for that promo code to swoop in and get that. So those were the only two products that were in there. It's a cleanse and a moisturizer. Uh, I'm excited about using that. And um, all right, let's move on to the next one. So this one is Ole Henriksen. I forget how I got this. Maybe this was part of the Beauty Insider points. Targets fine lines and wrinkles, evens texture. Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. Oh, yes, that's why I got it. Because I have all these dark spots from like my oil or from my acne scars. Um, so I got this toner because I wanted to see what could get rid of them. Finally. Um, so this is what it looks like. Ooh, it, it's like just a small bottle. It looks like essential oils. So basically, I'll just put it on with like um, at night, pour onto a cotton pad, swipe over clean, dry face in a circular motion. Everyone says circular because you want to go up like this. So I'm definitely going to try this out. Um, and it looks like it has any toner you have to be really careful about and you make sure you wear sunscreen. And that's why I wear this BB cream is because it has SPF something, SPF 20 in it. And um, yeah, you don't want your face to burn. That's something I learned when I was using Accutane. A lot of people had side effects that were like super, super harsh. They were really like burning their skin. And luckily I really only had um, problems with chapstick and I think that created my addiction to chapstick. But um, I might have skipped that side effect of dry skin because I just put on so much moisturizer and so much sunscreen and obviously me living in California, there's a lot of set. So gotta be careful with that. But I'm excited about this one. Again, this is the Ole, Ole Henriksen, Ole, Ole, I don't know. But here, I'll put it up close. Okay, there's a few more products. Um, this one, ooh, oh, this was a sample that I got. It's Amika and it's um, Nourishing Mask. And, oh, it's a hair mask, that's right. Gratify your hair with rich, high potency nourishment that hydrates and softens to the core. Massage it through wet hair, let penetrate for five to seven minutes and rinse well. Use weekly or daily. So I'll probably use this in the video where I use my purple shampoo to try to dye my hair because you can see my hair is like really brassy right now and it's disgusting. I spend over $100 on my hair and I'm so devastated right now because my hair lady is not here. So um, I gotta do what I gotta do. And I'll probably use this mask with that. Um, here's another sample. Sleeping Beauty, Edible Beauty. It looks like vitamins, but um, it's a sleep mask. And I always just, with masks, I feel like there's no limit to them. Like you can just try any of them and whatever. Two more things. Tarte C. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. This is the Volumizing Mascara and your girl loves some mascara. I don't know if it's waterproof, but it should be because it says C. So you would think that it would be waterproof considering it's talking about going in the water. Um, Yeah, so let me open this up. I love this packaging. This is my all time favorite color, like sea foam, green, blue, whatever. Uh, it's really small. I love it. It's like a little sample size. It's so cute. Ooh, I love this kind of brush. Oh, I love the bristles because um, it doesn't clump and some of the bristles are really clumpy. But I'm excited, I, I know I, I purposely picked this one as um, one of the freebies that you get because number one, I love Tarte. Number two, love mascara. Actually, number one, I love mascara. Number two, I love Tarte. <laughs> and then here's the last one. This is the one I've been wanting for a long time. This is the Buxom uh, Full On Plumping Lip Cream. And you know what? I'm gonna try this right now because I really have been 
bitch. I've been waiting for some lip plumper and that's just because I don't want to get filler in my lips. I don't think I need them. So let me just take off my, my see, that all went away. That was just pomegranate for its bees. It's the plug, I'm trying to tell you. Let's try it. I'm a little afraid because I know it's gonna tingle. Oh, I started tingling. Mmm. Ooh, it's already tingling. I purposely get like minty lip gloss or chapstick because I like that sensation. But this I know is a different sensation because it's going to make my lips all plumpy. Um, okay, so what else can I show you about this? Oh yeah, White Russian is the color and that's just sheer and I love sheer, anything is sheer. I used to be the type of person to be like, oh, let me just wear like colored lips and blah, blah, blah. And then I lick my lips way too much. So I always get that line, it's ugly, disgusting. So now I just wear chapstick and um, like clear lip gloss. And I really like this, wow. I feel like it's already kind of doing its work right now. I'm feeling a little extra voluptuous. <laughs> um, that's the point of it though, right? It's lip plumping, lip gloss plumping plumper. Um, <laughs> so anyways, that's it. If you have any questions or you want me to set put the links for any of these products, a lot of them I got on Amazon or I got um, obviously through my Sephora haul that I had. And um, I can put those links there so you can go directly to it. Um, and that's pretty much, uh, um, I'm, you know, it's been a, a crazy week and it's been a crazy week for everybody. So I'm not gonna sit here and say boohoo Katie, but um, everybody's situations are unique and I would never fault anybody for feeling like they're going through the worst phase of their life right now. Cause I totally can relate. I can totally understand everyone's circumstances are different. So whenever somebody needs to vent to you, let it happen because maybe they just need somebody to listen. Maybe they don't need your opinion. They just need somebody to listen. Um, and I've had to learn that over the years. It's not just about what your response is. I, I heard something. It was like, I need you to listen with your ears and not with your mouth. And that's like, so, spot on a lot of people listen to respond they don't listen to hear and um, I think that stops you from truly understanding somebody else's point of view and perspective especially if you care about them you should take the time to actually listen to what they're saying and then you can maybe find a new perspective of it but never ever compromise yourself for other people never do it and that's not considered selfish that's just you having to make sure that you're not losing your identity for the sake of somebody else. You can be there for somebody, just don't compromise yourself. I have a problem with that. I always adjust and adjusting is okay, but too much is too much. Make sure there's a line, don't cross it for yourself. Um, and there, there you go. That's my little spiel, that's my little talk. Anyways, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel so far. Thank you for who has supported me so far. And if you haven't already, please make sure you obviously give this video a huge thumbs up and give this video a comment if you have anything you wanna say. And of course, subscribe. Thank you so much, I love you guys and I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Don't forget to wear your mask. See you later.